Hi, it's Yuris and welcome to Tattoo Shop Talk. And today we will take a look at same but different needles from company Inklo. I think it's pretty cool episode. I will share what I learned communicating with guys from Inklo. And these are these cartridges with different tension, like sort of resistance of the membrane. And I'm kind of a bit surprised why I only find out about it now, why other brands don't talk about it, why it's never mentioned, why there's no numbers on resistance of membrane. So let's have a look what we have here. I got these nice boxes from Inklo and I got in there seven round shader three, seven round shader one. These are not final models. There will be a bit different packaging, but for now, number one is the softest, M is medium and three is hardest. In the future, it will be S for soft, M for medium and H for hard. And other brands never mention it. You only know about resistance of cartridges either from your experience or when somebody mentions that, that these are very tough, sort of hard, or these are super soft, or these don't have membrane at all. I'm kind of still don't know what's the final usage and what's best for what, but I will demonstrate what I found out and in which situations it could be super useful. In my mind, the softer the membrane, the better, because it's like less stress on a motor. That's what I was thinking. The softer, the better. But guys from Inklo explained that for an, like a hard hitting machines on like Bishop Packer, and especially on Bishop Liner, you want to use the hardest ones. And that was first time when I heard some numbers in terms of tightness of resistance, tightness, resistance, tightness of resistance, basically how hard the membrane is. And we got some numbers here. That's what I got in a message from the dude I communicate with. And the index of tension like from 160 to 280. 280 I think only Bishop can run so that would be the tightest. And Inklo needles are 160, 190 and 230. The softest one would be 160 units of tension something resistance middle is 190 and 230 is for the hardest one and that would be recommended for those hard hitting machines i don't know the reasoning for that but when it comes in handy and i will demonstrate it on a bunch of two machines here that's why i have them lined up where I find out where it shows. If you know why harder membranes would be better, then leave that down in the comment section. I have no idea, like I said in my mind. Lighter, easier membrane, it's easier on machine. Now let's stop talking and acting smart and just to jump to some demonstration. I'll try to demonstrate how it works on different type of tattoo machines. We have cartridges from Inklo here. They came in these boxes. A bit different from mainstream gold on black. This is gold on white. And it's this type that opens this way so this is the second least favorite type of packaging let's start with the hardest one that would be seven round shader three that would be this one medium soft i have tried them in practice i have done some tattoos with these needles and they work fine this one is the hardest one with the most resistance this i wish where i would have a tool which could sort of measure the pressure and resistance but i don't have one that's why i can show you only with machines but maybe that's also good because tattooists use machines and that's how they know i have this contraption which is this is dan cuban's signwinder with this battery grip and with the magic moons cartridge in i tried this setup just for sake of trying it because i want to try the grip but i have also used it with these type of grips with just a regular cable but this is easier to demonstrate five volts on a medium setting let's start it at five and see where it takes us switch it on and it cannot push the magic moons needle it's around quite far out actually it's around three millimeters and again it cannot push it but if I tap it it goes and it's out one and a half millimeters maybe and it sounds relatively quiet because it's not hitting that hard that's with magic moon I just want to demonstrate with that because I think they are the hardest cartridges that I have I'll set it to setting nine at five volts cannot push it I'll tap it and it goes somewhat still relatively quiet and relatively soft switch it to Tetzel's traditional 7 liner cannot push it at 5 volts tap it This sounded a bit more loud because I guess it's a bit less resistance. It could push it further and hit the, the hitting thing. Now let's put the hard one from 
in claw. Also can't push it. Tap it. Kind of similar where Tetzel was. Put it back so we don't mix up. Now it's the five round liner medium. Again, can't push it. Similar one and a half kind of millimeters out. Now let's do the softest one. So they all struggle to push at 5 volts. And this is on setting 9, which should be the strongest hitting one. Now let's try 6 volts. And it goes with the softest one, with the medium. It goes, it's relatively short needle length out the hardest one goes let's switch it to more realistic needle length this is more like a bit more than two millimeters that's the hardest medium and the lightest the least resistance Now let's move it to setting 5. Starts right away with the softest, with medium. Fine, with hardest. Fine. So we did 6 volt with Dan Cuban. Fine. On these direct-ish drive pen type machines you don't feel much difference at all. Let's see in the Bishop hardest one. 8 volts. Needle pretty far out, medium, obviously no problem, and the softest, no problem. I think the hardest one made a bit more noise. Yeah, now let's see on Dragonfly. 8 volts is the hardest one. And it works fine, and obviously it will work fine with the lighter ones, with less resistant ones, boom. And then I would put Magic Moon and it has struggle, it's, it can't push it out. Uh, if I knock it, then it starts to move, but right out of the gate, it's not working. That's all, boom, it can push it. Let's put it a bit more out so it's similar. It's recommended to use the hardest one on this machine. And obviously no problem with kickstart at 3 volts. Let's try Magic Moon. You can also kick it without kickstart. No problem. Now let's try Dan Cuban's mini cranker. Just in case a rubber band. Let's try the hardest one. And it's running the hardest one at 6.5 volts. Pretty chill. But let's try the softest one. Boom, boom. Same story. Runs like it's nothing. And let's try Tetzel. Works. And where's the evil magic moon? And it cannot push it. And I don't think it's healthy for motor or machine in general. From personal experience working with this stuff and also working it with it on a cable, I noticed that the harder one is a bit slower. It could still do the lines, but it felt a bit slower. And I was working on setting eight. Because then I could hear some noise, sort of more slappy noise. And with the lightest one, with the less resistance, it was pretty chill. Five liners, it did the job. Lines could have been better. I also tried on a couple like walking type of situations and it worked just fine. And that was also in this type of a setup. Just one was with this grip, one was with, with this type of a conversion to cartridges and what I did notice 
I had five medium resistance inklaw and then I took WJX that was five and it was struggling a bit same here setting eight then Cuban six volts needs a kick in the butt and with medium from inklaw Sometimes it needs a kick, sometimes it doesn't. Once it worked in, it behaved a bit better. And the hardest one from Inklo works. This is three from WJX. Needs a kick in the butt. Yeah, working with those more pen style, sort of direct-ish drive rotaries, in my experience, it doesn't feel that much different. If you can explain what's the difference, why it's beneficial to use harder type of membrane on these four millimeter and four millimeter and upstroke this type of tattoo machines, please let me know in the comment section. For those type of machines, I don't see much difference. I'm just surprised that no one talks about it like at all. Brands don't put it out there because now I only saw on T-Tech's webpage when I was comparing T-Tech and Cheyenne cartridges, it was mentioned that now T-Tech is with softer membrane. So that's only place apart from these I have seen that mentioned. You can go to their webpage and check out. They have these boxes, sample boxes for $10. $10. You get something like two of one kind, two of other kind resistance and two of third kind. And then they also give you that crazy needle, which is 88 round shader. And I think that would be more useful for people who would work with like these converted type of a... Uh, Either it be Dan Cuban and you want to work with the cartridge needles or it be some coils or something of that nature where that resistance you can feel more and many I, I show Dan Cuban dragonfly type of machines that have some sort of a give system they struggle with those harder cartridges not talking about some super crazy ones but even in this example they have a bit of struggle obviously depending on what stroke you own and all that but that's where you want to kind of put less stress on your machine and maybe if it didn't work in the past now it's worth to go to Inclo website get that sample box and see what happens and maybe it works for you or maybe few sample boxes because with just two needles maybe you can't really understand the whole deal but anyway the option is there and when there will be available more options than just a sample box maybe if you want to try to work with cartridges with your coils or these Dan Cuban type machines or converted dragonflies now you know that you have the option you have something to choose from which in my mind is pretty cool and I'm pretty surprised that other brands don't mention it if I miss something and you know a brand that has those numbers out please let that know in the comment section so this was my short weird overview with some demonstrations on inklo cartridges if you want to check them out links are in video descriptions also you can check their social media they show what stuff they are working on what stuff they are inventing they have other pretty unusual and cool groupings they have those large magnums that some are looking for and they have all those weird three by three six by three needles and now also this stuff with different resistance of membrane of cartridge needle so check that out i think this is pretty cool stuff and i also love that brands are pushing stuff forward more options new technologies new options within same things i think that's pretty awesome go and check those guys out leave a comment press a like subscribe to the channel and see you in a future episodes thanks for watching check out this playlist you'll find it useful